This is a journey of over two hours on speedboat as we head to the ancient kingdom of Sangana in Brass local government area of Bios State. Sangana Kingdom is made up of several communities with a distinguishable landmass, but due to the intense coastal erosion that they experience, the communities are now merged and slowly washing away. Sangana is also an oil producing community that plays host to over seven producing companies and their main occupation is fishing due to the abundance of water, but the water is now the enemy. Uh, this is my house. I built the house uh, 2000 and, uh, 2011. As I built the house, water just away from my house. But now the water come and carry my house, cut it out. They are gradually becoming homeless in their own homeland. Now, right now, me and my children, even my mother's children, will not get where to sleep, will not get where to stay. Nowhere to stay. Sometimes we will go stay for school houses. Inside school houses, when they want to do school, then go come for sure, we go come come out. These barricades show the several attempts by the people of the area to protect their land, but the ocean keeps eroding the land as no makeshift barricade can withstand its intensity. We call on every meaningful government agencies to come to help us. Because here what we are seeing in the next possible 10 to 15 years, there will be no Sangana. And that will speak a very negative impact. Knowing our economic contributions, you can see the economic trees. An indigenous of Sangana, no Uro Omeokumo, takes us through memory lane on the previous erosion, efforts made to ward off the coastal erosion. In 1991, Ham Bridging was given a contract by the Flood and Erosion Department, federal government to embark to, to execute a job of erosion control. It didn't last because the technology failed. In 2009, another job was awarded by a federal government interven agency, interventionary agency, um, NDDC, to Zome Marine and Logistics. We followed it up very well. The technology applied to our own judgment is good to the environment. The technology is working, is, is withstanding the erosion but it has been abandoned. That is our challenge. According to the Sangana women leader, two-thirds of the community has already been eroded. The, the buildings, the roads, the uh, vegetation, even our vegetation, palm, uh, the coconut trees, the mango trees, the oranges trees, and the, even the palm tree which we use in making oil has been flushed away by this same water. We are, we the people of Sangana, we have been, we are passing through a lot. This primary school has become home for the people whose buildings have been submerged by the ravaging tides. 58 years old, Tekio Dixon, who has two wives and 15 children, is now internally displaced in his own community as the ocean has swallowed five of his houses and he doubts if he has the ability to build a sixth house. This is primary school site. And look at this primary school site. May I have two wives and 15 children and other, I have grandchildren. And look at where I kept my goods. Look at where I kept my goods. The federal government, we have been crying day in day out but no way no way the people of sangana are pleading for help as this menace may lead to the outbreak of a pandemic as their living conditions are not satisfactory some more people are also living in fear not sure if their own buildings will be next but they ask for the urgent help of the federal government to stem the tide of destruction